guys, it is early morning. I actually um, stayed over at my mom's house last night and it's New Year's Eve morning. So you're watching this long after New Year's has passed and you're already over it. But I thought I would vlog it today and share it with you guys. Um, but my mom just ran out to the grocery store. I have not done anything, but I just did a blog -a routine, um, her plie squat challenge. I'll put the link in the description box down below. Um, for, for you guys, I know you like to, I know you like to do her videos too, but it was a good one. Um, but Ty B did the cutest thing. Ty B Bo, come here. Come here, Ty B Bo. Come here. Say hi. He did the cutest thing, you guys. I was, I was holding my can, I was holding my plie squat for a long time and he came underneath me and held this downward dog position and held it the entire time I was doing the plie squats. I'm doing my exercise too. That's what's going on. You're so cute. I'm wearing my mom's bear, um, I call this the her barefoot dreams robe, but it's her Carol Hockman robe that she got at Costco. She just went out to Kroger to get some collard greens. We're gonna make um, black eyed peas, collard greens, and potentially cornbread which is kind of traditional. You're supposed to eat it on New Year's Day, actually, but um, I'm gonna work on New Year's Day, so we're gonna have it tonight. But I just brewed up a cup of tea. I haven't even had coffee yet. I'm drinking tea before coffee. That is unusual for me. And it's just unusual that I'm so chatty before coffee. I haven't done any skincare or anything on my face. Um, but this is the tea that I just brewed up. It's, um off season now. The exceptional eggnog, eggnog and tea by Bigelow. It is a black and green tea, so it's caffeinated. That's why I wanted to try it. My mom has it here. Um, and every time I see it, I it's, you know, in the, the end of the day, afternoon time, it's too late to have caffeinated tea, so I thought I would sneak it in now. It's a black and green tea, and it does have, it's got cinnamon in it, I don't know how they get it to taste kind of noggy. It tastes better than that malk, malk nog. It's quite good. So yeah, that's what's going on. I'm, a, I'm going to sit here and respond to some of your comments that came in overnight. And then I'll probably put myself together. All right, time for time for the big guns, the actual caffeine of my coffee. I'm having a little four siggy instant mushroom coffee here this morning. <laughs> it's just I have this thing for those of you who are new with uh, using a fork to mix my drinks. <laughs> I don't know why I say drinks. Hello, we're having a cozy early Hi, morning here. <laughs> how was the uh, how was the New Year's Eve day crowd crowded uh, at Kroger? Not too bad, actually. That's the good thing about going early. But it's a little wet and icky out. But I hope the sun will come out. Yeah. Happy the New Year, everybody! Come out tomorrow. Yeah, we're so grateful for all of you viewers. I hope you're having a wonderful New Year's. Somebody says, yeah, I sure am. I sure am. Are there going to be presents like there were on Christmas? Are they going to be presents? He liked the present thing. Yeah, this little um, toddler toy type thing that he got is supposed to stimulate his brain. It's been stimulating his brain a bit too much because he is oh, he is uh, fixated on that. You see, it's got these little squirrels that go in there, it and he digs them out. Squirrels, yeah. And this this toy, <laughs> he'll want you to throw back and forth. He will, he loves to play fetch with it. Did you see how he went right up to the camera? He, Tybee, you're a little ham. <laughs> yeah, see, digs digs out the squirrel. Tybee. That's not cruelty free, Tybee. That's not cruelty free. I have Tybee socks on also. And it's Tybee's Tybee's got sweater weather on. He has to wear a sweater sweater. <laughs> it's cold. Yeah, he he says that it's his sweater. It's his sweater. It's sweater. It's sweater. <laughs> Gotta wear your sweater, Tad. It's my sweater. Yeah. Yeah. What you gonna do in the kitchen, Doctor? I'll Brett? show him the little grocery haul of what you got. Oh, okay. You're gonna take him out? Ah, uh, yes. They had a lot of good things in the clearance bin, but I avoided that. Oh Tons yeah, that's of wax melts and things. 
for like 89 cents. Oh, really? For Tuscany? The of wax smell. No, they were the other one, Candlelight. Uh, Candlelight Company? Yes. Oh, I think, yeah. Their, their candles are hit or miss. They're not, I've, I've been burning a good one though lately. Another thing that they had marked down that I was tempted, but I didn't, you know those lanterns that you put the uh, battery candle yeah. in? That are so pretty. They had those marked down. I thought for next year it'd be nice, but I have to discipline myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were watching a YouTuber last night who was talking about doing a no buy mm -hmm. um, for for January, uh, not buying any any beauty stuff. She gave some really good uh, advice. Yeah, um, I can't remember what her name was. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she did. Yeah, she said unsubscribe from all of the Sephora emails. Yeah, all the emails. That's that you that's get. a good tip for that really for everyone out there. She said to set rules for yourself about what you can spend and what you can't. Although if you guys unsubscribe from the Sephora emails, I think the comments in my videos will go down because whenever I think you guys get a Sephora email in the morning and then I get some comments like, is this product good? Should I use this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can have a no spend January. I'm all for that. Ooh. You guys don't spend any money on, on stuff that's going to give you irritant dermatitis. <laughs> Mr. Tommy, Little boy. Go. Little boy. I don't want to do a no spend. Where did I put his lead? All right, New Year's Eve grocery haul. I just posted this to my uh, Instagram stories. Uh, but my mom got some, looks like parsley radishes um, and then celery we also got some cilantro comment below are you uh, one of those people that has the polymorphism wherein when you consume cilantro cilantro it tastes like soap uh, <laughs> I feel terrible for you because I love it and uh, use it a lot green bell pepper two bulbs of garlic Ginger and turmeric. I think she was motivated. She saw some video about a smoothie recipe. Parsley flakes. And then this is the King's Spicy Kimchi. This does not appear to have any animal derived ingredients in it. Um, so you guys know I love kimchi. Unfortunately, a lot of it uh, has uh, fish sauce in it. This one apparently doesn't. And I have to be careful with this. I can eat the entire jar. Sodium overload. This one doesn't have any MSG either. So that's great. Um, yeah, I'm always resistant to buy this, to buy kimchi at, at H Mart because I can't read the ingredients. So I don't know if it contains fish sauce. And that's really a bummer because I'm sure there are some there that are totally fine um, and probably excellent and a better price. Comment below, those of you... Um, who shop at like H Mart. Is there a brand that is vegan friendly? Um, I would love to know. Um, I'm gonna put my trust in you though, because I can't unfortunately read the language. Um, all right, frozen chopped collard greens. I think these are for little boy, peas and carrots. He likes to eat these. I also do too, we fight over them. Yeah, I mix those into his little... His food. food. Two yellow onions. Some virgin coconut oil. You're liking this uh, Ready Whip, the almond almond yeah. milk one? Yeah, it's good stuff, I really huh? I like to put it on my coffee. Yeah. Um, what do you think? How does it compare to the dairy stuff? You do you, do you think it tastes better, same? I'm happy with it because I use almond milk in my coffee, mm -hmm. so it's just kind of a a highlight to the almond milk. I, I don't know if it tastes the same as dairy. I wouldn't go that far, but oh, okay. I, I prefer it. You prefer to it? Dairy yeah. Because it doesn't have that cloying chemical. It, yeah, taste. it doesn't coat your mouth like yeah, the dairy that's one. It. But it, it does it does the job what what you want want without the without the after the only effect. Thing is, there's just not enough in that can. <laughs> <laughs> they need to put more in there. Yeah, it's it's a tasty treat, not healthy. Um, virgin coconut oil, I think that's for maybe a recipe. Uh, and then these I love, the white mushrooms and some Bob's Red Mill, coarse ground All right, corn. so I finally got dressed and did my skincare routine. I mentioned I hadn't done any skincare. I did put on some Olay SPF 30 when I woke up this morning because you know, the windows are open and whatnot. But I just did my morning skincare routine, AKA put on more sunscreen and 
First impression on a UK sunscreen, this Ultra Sun SPF 50 face anti-aging and anti-pigmentation sun protection for ultra sensitive skin. Wow, this is, goes on like a dream. Doesn't sting at all. And I'm not wearing, I purposely didn't put any tinted sunscreen on over it because I'm really just liking the way that it looks on the skin. It gives a nice, nice kind of hydration. It doesn't sting at all. Very moisturizing and not greasy. A little, a little shiny, but it kind of gives that waxing appearance like the Al UV Extra Gel. This one ha has, um, has tin in it, but, uh, this is the first time I've opened it, looked at it, put it on my face. So that is a quick wow. Wow, I like it. We'll see how we'll see how it goes goes on. But don't fall for this claim, however, this once a day thing. No, there's no such thing as a once a day sunscreen. Reapply because it wears off. Um, but you just whipped up a smoothie. Oh, Tell us about what you made. This is really good. It's uh, a whole bunch of cilantro, an entire <laughs> An entire bunch. All right. Uh, the protein powder mm -hmm. that you have. Where did that come from? That comes from iHerb, the okay. vanilla uh, muscle farm protein powder. Yeah, that's yeah. what I put in there, two scoops. But it has uh, fresh turmeric and fresh ginger in it. Ooh. So I, I cut off little nubbins from the a root. Yeah, you can tell. Look at your hands. Yeah. <laughs> I put them in the little uh, mini Cuisinart. Oh, okay. Your mini and food I processor. Put it in the blender with this. Got it. And that worked really well. Cool. So it's got ginger, turmeric, uh, cilantro, protein powder, and water. Tasty. And the uh, the woman on the YouTube used coconut water, mm -hmm. but I didn't have any available, so I just used uh, Houston water. <laughs> Fair enough. So yeah, that's what's going on. This is my um, New Year's Eve OOTD uh, outfit of the day. I'm wearing this Namaste all day Sure, You got this at, for me at Target. Yes. It's comfy. Um, and this is that necklace that I got in my FabFitFun box. So I'm kind of feeling, I don't know, 90s vibe-ish. I've got my little rhinestones. And my pants are those, pant, those joggers from uh, Fabletics with the pockets. Very comfy. And my socks are wintery socks that I have had. I've, I love these. I've had them for years. And they're more like slipper socks. They're really thick. And they're from the brand is uh, Laura Ashley, actually. Does Laura Ashley even exist anymore? They used to always carry these socks, by the way, at like TJ Maxx, Marshalls. Laura Ashley is a fabric designer. I know, but she makes dresses and things. And then my slippers are these Vionics. You got me these last year for Christmas, and they have held up an entire year quite well. Yeah, I was going to ask nice, you if nice you're ready for a new pair, if they can keep, uh, still have some miles to They go. work, they work. Okay. No buy, no buy, no buy. Yeah, no buy. Oh, no. Little boy says, I need some flippers. I need some flippers. Flippers, please. I need flippers for my sweater. Sweater with her. His little bow. Oh, you own oh, no. We're not going to play this all day. We have things to do. <laughs> oh, you think you just do that little booty shake and, and you're going to get your way. <laughs> Beyonce Knowles, you are not. He's so cute. Little boy. Oh, you guys. I mentioned uh, in the blog on Thursday that uh, we watched a Netflix movie that was really good, Sierra Burgess is a Loser. I forgot to mention another movie that we watched that was really good, Kindergarten Teacher. Kindergarten Teacher, yeah. yeah it had um, Jillian Hall's sister, uh, Maggie Jillian Hall. Maggie Gyllenhaal. I like her, yeah. She was really uh, creepily Yeah, good. yeah, yeah. It's uh, a disturbing story, in my opinion. <laughs> Yeah, but it's a very real to today story, I think. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, are we going to do any Netflix thing today, or? or today? Yeah, we had a we had an issue last night with Netflix, um, and it wouldn't load. It's that kind was of a, such a struggle. That's but that was the second time that's happened. That was an issue with with Samsung because it was YouTube and Amazon Prime and your regular TV. Well, your regular TV was okay, but there was just nothing on but infomercials. And um, 
Right. Um, it was. I, yeah, I, don't know. I, I think that the apps had updated oh, on the TV. Yeah. And then it was still. I don't. I don't know to be honest with you. But I got all set this morning to work on it, and, mm -hmm. and it's working fine now. And that's the second time that's happened, <clears throat> where it cures itself overnight. But <clears throat> at nighttime, when you want to sit and watch something, and it's doing that, that was frustrating because you know what? We actually had to have a conversation with each other. I know. Instead of staring at a TV. <laughs> But yeah, it is frustrating when, when that happens. I don't know what the cause was. That's a joke. We're not big TV watchers. No, we aren't. We only watch, what, like an hour, two hours on the weekend? I think I could give up my TV if it weren't for the fact that Game of Thrones is coming back in April. Oh, yeah, no. I'm hanging in there for that. You know. Um, and then I may cancel my, uh, I'm definitely canceling Achebeo. Achebeo. <laughs> have anything to offer me at all besides GOT Game of Thrones. Oh, okay. Yeah. Little boy. Look okay. at Little boy. This is how he settled it. Wait, there aren't any other shows on HBO? HBO used to have really good shows. Um, every once in a while something will pop up and I'll grab it and record it uh -huh. on the DVR. Yeah. But uh, for my taste, it's it's pitiful. It's really pitiful. It's Throwing the rubber, the the squeaky bone down adamantly is not going to get it. Th it's not going to get you engaged in a game of chase with me. It's th th fetch. <laughs> You're bullying me, well, Tybee. You're bullying me. I don't appreciate it. You're trying to bully me into submission for throwing that bone. I, you. Oh, I, I'll go. I'll go over here. She's a little softer. Please. Oh no, and here we go. <laughs> he likes his awesome tossing. Oh, there he is. Again. Again. Once you start, there's no turning back. Hey, well, who's Fifi? Oh, the one we saw on TV. Oh yeah, that was unfortunate. There's a little dog who helps um, its owner with, um, just as a support for her anxiety. And her dog went missing. And... It was very sad, yeah, very sad story. A, that was on the local Walmart news. And yeah. The dog ran out and um, you know, she's got a five hundred dollar reward for Fifi. It, Fifi looks like she could be related to Tybee. She's yeah. really cute. And she had did she have an Astros shirt on? When she she did, yeah, that? yeah. She had a an Astros jersey on. Yeah, I think it's Fifi, but they spell it F E F E F E. Yeah. Well, Tybee could, you know, be a nice distraction from uh, anxiety because he'll force you to do this game and no, that'll keep you, mine. maybe keep your mind off of, off of things. Dogs, animals are very therapeutic, but don't, he's, don't, don't let that go to your head, Tybee. You see, I can get that, I can see that little head inflating. Yes, I have a key role in everyone's health here, so. Dogs like to have a job to do, they really do. I come with an hourly rate. Get down with your bad self. Jungle boogie. Woo, woo. This whole vlog is going to be me popping up and down, showing you my foods and, uh, and being odd. I'm in a very, very good mood today. Yes. Ooh. I'm always in a good mood. I, yeah, I wouldn't say I'm always in a good mood, um, but I'm in a particularly good mood today. I don't know why, but I'm not gonna question it. So my mom just put into the Instant Pot the black eyed peas. These, I didn't show you guys these. Uh, these are the Ramona Farms, American Indian Foods. Black eyed peas, we got these on our trip to Arizona, which was a highlight from this year, by the way. Non-GMO, all natural. I know I have many viewers who live in Arizona. Um, so comment below and if you've ever had these, we're going to give them a whirl. I love black eyed peas, in fact, I, I don't see them as being something you should ever restrict to just New Year's. Um, but you put them in the Instant Pot on the multi-grain setting for how long? 15 minutes? The book told me 7 minutes, but I, I put it for 15, so let's see what happens. Alright, and when did you do that? Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, my issue with the Instant Pot is it just takes a, it takes much longer to, to cook beans than Kosari, in my experience. Plus, 
See that little hand there that says don't touch? Yeah, you definitely don't want to touch. This gets incredibly hot. Maybe that's just this particular model though. Um, and you definitely need to, I think once you become comfortable with the Instant Pot, since it is it is more of a, a trial and error, uh, then, then you, you learn. So update on Malk. You'll recall at Christmas time we tried this pecan Malk Nog holiday edition and did not care for it. But my mom has slowly been making her way through it um, this past week. And as you get down to the latter third, it tastes much better. And we did shake it very well before consuming it the first time. But now it tastes, now down here, it tastes more, more like, like what you were, what we were hoping for. It tastes more spice, you know, like it's got spice in it. But still not my favorite. Abby, did you wear yourself out with the fetch game? Yeah, oh, some yes. nasty time. I'm just resting up so that I can, can play more fetch. Little boy. Little boy. Let's see, what is today? Little boy. Little boy. He's a little boy. Yeah! Yeah! Condition, my condition I think we, was we've in. We've got to get Dr. Dre a pair of go-go boots. I'm rocking the dude White look go -go here. White go-go boots. That's Are a good you? song. It is. I just walked in to see what condition yeah. my condition was, was in. Yeah, yeah, condition. oh yeah, what condition? <laughs> Did you trip on a? What does he say? I trip on a something that was eight oh. feet high. <laughs> <laughs> Little boy. Yeah, yeah, right, oh thank yeah. You, Google. <laughs> hey, what was that song I used to like by them? I, I don't. YouTube probably doesn't even recognize this thing. Is it copyright? Yeah, it might be. It won't recognize my singing though. That's, is that what you call a falsetto voice? I think so. Maybe that's what I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why does time have to go so fast? It does. about five o'clock so I'm gonna get started making the uh, the dinner I mean, it's back there but our black eyed peas uh, we cooked in the instant pot and I just have them drained here so this was one cup dry for a total of four servings uh, which you know you could use canned black eyed peas but of all canned beans I swear black eyed peas are the worst ones to buy canned you can buy them frozen I've never had them frozen but the canned ones I, I don't know I don't care for um but I'm going to put the instant pot on the saute setting I just have a little bit of low sodium imagine vegetable broth there um and I am going to steam saute down some garlic and then I'm going to add in one cut one entire yellow onion that I chopped up sorry it's beeping at me a bell pepper half a bell pepper I chopped up two celery ribs and um, this is a handful of baby carrots that I just pulsed in the um, food processor so I'm going to saute steam all that down and then I will add the beans to that and put it on the slow cooker setting and just let it flavor up and I will also season it with a bay leaf and some cayenne and some dried parsley and some black pepper. Easy breezy. Alright so for sauteing the garlic down first um, I just go ahead and add the chopped garlic. I also add a little bit of the parsley 
and just kind of let those things cook down. And as the garlic is kind of browning a little bit, I then add the remaining ingredients. Or the remaining sort of mirepoix. Uh, mirepoix. Yeah, so they're cooking down there in the low sodium vegetable broth. This way you don't have to really use any oil. You just sweat down, cook the, um, the veggies. Uh, but when I put the garlic in, I also put the parsley in, and then I kind of mash the, the parsley and the garlic together. It just kind of releases some of the some of the flavors, and, and they get they get they get together really well. It also works quite well if you do that with um, oregano. If you're using oregano to flavor to flavor your beans. All right, so I just added the black bell pepper and the uh, cayenne, and I also added. Uh, some more parsley. I don't measure that kind of thing. I just eyeball it, and uh, I, I don't know. It's probably roughly maybe a teaspoon, a teaspoon of each, give or take. All right. So I added the black eyed peas, and I also added a cup and a half of water and a bay leaf. This is key. The bay leaf it really helps too bring out the flavors. So I'm just going to leave that on the slow cooker setting for, I don't know, roughly an hour, hour and a half, give or take. And that will flavor the black eyed peas. All right, while our black eyed peas are cooking, I'm just making the greens. So I'm doing something similar to what I did for the um, black eyed peas. I am just steam sauteing some garlic here. I'm actually gonna use the stove top and I'm using this back burner because this front burner is a little twitchy, um, but I just have some water, and this is four cloves of chopped garlic that I have steam cooking down there. And then I'm gonna just add some onion and sweat that down, and then I will add in my greens. We are using frozen chopped collard greens. This is Pick Sweet Farms, but I'm also gonna throw in these uh, radish greens. Just cut off the the greens. I wash these um, and drain the water. These are organic radishes. Look how pretty they are. Uh, and just I chopped off the this part, and I'm gonna just roughly chop those and add them to the greens. That'll be delicious. Little boy. What's hey, you having a little time out with your with your dragon? <laughs> You're making, I have the camera on, you're making your um, reading list for 2019? Yes, I thought I'd be a little more focused this year and try to just make a set list. And then I'm gonna leave room for a few add-ons along the way. That's what I'm doing. That's the plan. I'm using my Goodreads uh, app and I have a want to read list in there, so I'm pulling them out of that mainly. Plus, Dr. Dre has given me some recommendations. Yeah, I was re trying to remember some of the books I read this year. Eliza and Her Monsters was really cute. Uh, YA, young adult fiction that I read. And also, The Knicks. I read that uh, and really enjoyed it. It was good. What was the other one I said? Uh, I don't know. Oh. Those are the ones that I've got on my... Yeah, those are really good. Anyways, I um, went ahead and added the greens there. I'm just letting them cook down in that onion gamish, and I am fixing to throw together the cornbread using this ground cornmeal. I am using, I use oat flour, which is just, I'm just using one cup of rolled oats that I pulsed uh, to a, a flour consistency, and this, this thing is so handy, by the way, this Cuisinart mini prep. This thing was a smart buy. Um, and then I've also got, <laughs> then I've also got the cornmeal in there, and that is just a tablespoon of baking powder. Um, and I'm going to grind up the squash here and add that in. I know it sounds odd, but uh, it doesn't really taste like anything. It just kind of, I don't know, kind of adds moisture to it. And then in lieu of an egg, I'm going to use a flax egg, which is just one tablespoon of flax, or not flax egg, excuse me, chia egg. <laughs> one tablespoon of chia seeds and... Three tablespoons of water I have gelling here. That makes a binder. So I'll put my cornmeal recipe, my cornbread recipe down below, but I'm going to make it in, where did she go? Um, that splatterware container that I made the gingerbread in.
All right, so I just pureed that squash, added my uh, chia egg, and um, you can add sugar to, a little bit of sugar to the to cornbread. It makes it nice and sweet, but instead of sugar, I actually am adding my favorite unsulfured molasses here. I just uh, do like a tablespoon. Very tasty. And, oh, I also add a tablespoon of, uh, of applesauce, unsweetened applesauce. But I'm just going to fold that into the dry ingredients and put it into this splatterware container and bake it at 425 degrees for about 20 or 25 minutes. All right, I got the cornbread uh, batter into the splatterware pan. Uh, and it's a little brown because of the molasses, but I like it that way. And it's going in for 25 or 25 minutes not put the vlogging camera in the oven. How about that? <laughs> so the cornbread came out of the oven and everything is ready to assemble. I just chopped up, you know, a head of romaine, of course, and some fresh parsley. And that's what I'm going to put mine on. But here is the cornbread. It looks like it came out pretty good. Um, I'll put my recipe down below if you guys are interested in making it. It is vegan and I think it's technically, uh, if you use gluten-free rolled oats, I think it's gluten-free, but don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on that. Don't want to, don't want to give anybody with, uh, celiac disease a trip to the, trip to the gastro urgently. All right, collard greens are done. Smell delicious. And... Black eyed peas are also done. They smell and taste delicious. I've been kind of sampling them along the way. Little little taste to make sure things are, are good and flavored. Tybee's my sous chef. You ready to play her up? Um, yeah. I told you guys I'm in a good mood today. I don't know why. Why not? Do you have I have a lot of blessings. I have a lot, many, many, many blessings. You do. As do I. We're very blessed. Kai be our sweet little angel. I think he's the slash, angel. slash Roomba. He's Cauliflower he's Roomba. His toys out everywhere. Yep, yep, toys, yep, mm hmm toys, toys, I heard the T word. Ooh, it does look like it came out pretty good. Mm hmm I can't wait to try that. I'm going to put my black eyed peas on top. That's the way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good? It makes a, a great base for the uh, black bean, or the black eyed peas. And your cornbread? Mm hmm Stay classy in 2019, everybody. It's my adult bib, in case you were wondering. <laughs> but it's my newer one. This is my um, my more gold chain one. My iced tea gold bib. That's your evening bib. My evening attire. <laughs> How is it? Very good. The black eyed peas are super. Glad you. I could be on these all day. They're really good. No, no salt, no oil. Yeah, look how they are. They really cooked up nicely. And did the, what do you think of the job the Instant Pot did on? I think it did a respectable job. Collard greens on romaine and parsley, the mushrooms, and the beans are buried down there somewhere. And the, the cornbread looks really good. It is. It's Does good. it taste good? It's a really good base for the, you know, soft soak up the liquid. Yeah, liquid. That's how 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 it's done. What are you doing to your rope toy, Tybee? Did you The boys can play with something. Look at him just tearing that stuff apart. We're getting ready to go on a walk, a post dinner walk. Boy, that um, ultra sun sunscreen. I, but I think it really does stay on pretty well. Pause. Baby Bo, you're bossy. 
We're back. Oh, I've got the camera on. I just, he's Mr. Bossy Paws. First, first of all, he, um, first he didn't want to go on the walk, and then he heard a family coming, and he got super excited that he was going to make a new friend. And there was a little boy, and he wanted to be friends with the little boy. And fortunately, the little boy didn't seem scared of him, but I had to tell him to be a good boy and not be too friendly. And then, then I wanted to do a lap, and he, he decided that we were going to take an alternate route, and he cut me off and went through Where the. He, he wanted to go through the courtyard. Oh, because yeah. there was a, there was some box he wanted to sniff that somebody had left by the trash can, so he wanted to cut through the courtyard and he went and made like a beeline to, to that box and had to sniff it. Were you a bossy paw? He was a bossy paw. Bossy paws? Yeah. Well, thank you. For God bless King Tybee. He's our little. She looks pretty good. She has yeah, such a good voice, I get it. Yeah. Huh? I haven't oh, seen her in a while. It's... Yum. Oh, we've still got an hour for ours. Boy, somebody's excited for the new year. He wants to make his ball, his, uh, his new year ball. <laughs> Tybee. Tybee's getting sleepy. It's only 11. He goes in. You've only got I had a long, left I had a long walk and lots of excitement today. Oh, Tybee Bo. You're getting blinky eyes. Blinky eyes. <laughs> this looks good, Mr. Church. Uh, you want to try that? Yeah. I got my glasses on. Yeah, so. for some of you, it's already the new year. Yeah, by well, the time they watch this, it'll. Oh, know. I know. They'll be like, "What new I'm year?" Sure I'm <laughs> hope your hope your resolutions haven't haven't uh, gone by the wayside at this point. <laughs> yeah, well, just resolve to be healthy and happy. But. Anyways, guys, I'm going to conclude the vlog here. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen, sunscreen and subscribe. And subscribe. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow. We love Bye. you. Bye. Happy 2019.